Hey, how's it going? That Logic Pro guy here. Let's talk about settings that you need to change right now. The very first inside of the key command window, there are some pretty dangerous settings in my opinion, especially for beginners. This one here is called solo mode, solo lock mode, solo locked regions. We want to delete these three and I want to explain first before I actually delete them. So let's say we're in a session. If you're brand new, there are a hundred things that can happen at any given moment. And if you're not aware, it becomes a trap. So if I mistakenly just hit Control S, you can see that we get this awkward behavior. And if you don't know what it's for, then yeah, like I said, this can certainly be a hindrance. Solo mode is great for mixers, perhaps with a lot of experience that are checking out the stems, they want to know the lay of the land, they're getting familiar with a brand new song. I don't think it applies for beginners quite yet. Same goes for solo lock mode, which is really just an extension of solo mode. If we're in solo mode, and then you mistakenly hit option S, now, as you can see here in the top left, you get this little lock icon, and now things become particularly weird because nothing seems to change. You're in this deathly solo lock state. Again, great for mixers, but not for everybody else. I'm gonna go ahead and hit delete inside the key command window. If you don't know where this is located, I just wanna be 100% uh, clear, key commands, and under edit, key command is option K. And if you are a beginner, do me a favor and start learning these keyboard modifiers. I've got a bunch of courses that teach you how to do this stuff. Check out the links in the description. Next, the startup actions are critical. When you start up Logic, what does it do? In other words, is it asking you to do something? Is it starting the most recent project that you've been working with? Does it always start off with a new template? I want you to have the power and the say so to decide. So under preferences, go ahead and open up the general tab and here is where we can unlock this feature, startup action. I think for everyone, we can mostly agree that ask is the best option because now you have the luxury of choosing to do nothing, to open the most recent project, to open an existing project. It's up to you, the power is in your hands. Maybe if you're working on a specific score, a specific piece of music, of course you can open the most recent project. But again, I just want you to know so go ahead, turn this feature on, and it's gonna work wonders for you. Okay, so now I wanna talk about the specifics when moving regions. This also applies to MIDI events as well, but under the general icon, under editing, these two features are critical. I think they need to be turned on for most users, and let me explain why. I'm gonna disable them now, and when I drag something, I have the option of going diagonal, up, down. It could make you dizzy because let's say you're trying to do something very specific, move this MIDI note just up. It can be very distracting to, to try and get this into an easy destination or at least what you would think would be an easy destination, but you can't because it doesn't seem to lock in place. If you open up your preferences, which have now been changed, the title is called settings, if you open up your settings and you go into the editing tab, if you simply enable these two options, limit dragging to one direction for the piano roll editor and the tracks area, then when you drag something up or down, it simply goes up or down. And when you drag it left or right, it simply goes left or right. All right, on to the next one. In the same area, if you enable fade tool click zones, once you hover over an audio region, this could be the leftmost or the rightmost side of the region, you can fade with ease. For beginners, you cannot fade software instrument regions here, and that's because obviously it's a different format, and if you wanted to, you can simply automate, or if that's not an option for you at this time, you can simply bounce this track to audio and then fade the ensuing audio region. So we go from a software instrument region to an audio region. All right, lastly, I just wanna shift our attention to 
again the settings display and I particularly like to have this first general tab look this way I want the window menus to appear large in other words if I disable this and I click here you can see everything is very small and so as soon as I enable that things uh, are a little bit more suitable for my viewing pleasure same thing with the inspectors I like the wide playhead and then you want to disable these two as they just waste unnecessary CPU last thing here under editors on the far right I think it's super important to enable the bright background and that's simply going to just help you it's going to have a nice contrast to the logic pro interface it's helped me dramatically it helps me see the grid a little bit better as well when i'm quantizing and moving notes around anyhow i hope this helps if you haven't already do me a massive favor and follow this channel and my other channel at the modern creative we're doing so much here to provide valuable content if you want to support the channel got some great links in the description this is for all you hardcore followers that are really gonna push the envelope and do your best to be the best so that you can have the best all right guys that's my time i'll see you guys later stay up stay happy we'll see you soon bye